Hi guys, today we'll be making a natural vaginal lubricant. So to begin, I will be adding my water to the speaker and then I will move on to adding our thickener. I'm using two thickeners today, Xanthan gum and hydroxoprofil metal cellulose. I don't know if that's the pronunciation, but it's giving me a hard time. The hydroprofil, <laughs> that's the word. <laughs> I will now be moving on to thoroughly mixing this in well. It will not gel up as I mentioned, but uh, you have to ensure that you mix it in thoroughly. So that's what we are doing now. After mixing like this, then I will cover this for basically 24 hours. It's a tedious process, but it gets the job done. Now, after 24 hours, this is how it's basically looking. It's still not gelled up, but there are a few pieces there that you can see that were basically formed, but it's still loose. So I am just going to go in with uh, my stick blender. So we are going to give this some short, strong bursts just for a few seconds. And, you know, it's going to look a little bit like milky or frothy, I should say. So we're mixing this together and to be honest with you, you might think that you did a horrible job because look at it, it's looking quite frothy and there's no gel hair. <laughs> but what we're going to do, we are going to stir this around just to incorporate everything and we are going to now cover it again and leave it for another 24 hours and come back and look at how it's looking. So here we are, it's another day, and we are going to look at the consistency. And by looking at this, you can see that it has now formed a nice gel consistency, which is what we are looking for. So I'm just basically mixing this around, you know, showing you the consistency checking if i like how it is looking but i think i want it to be a little bit more thicker so what i'll be doing um further down i will be basically adding some um vantan gum to this yes that i'll be doing that is what i'll be doing So we want it to be very um, moisturizing as well, hydrating. So we're going to be adding some aloe vera juice to this and that's what I'll be doing next. We are going to move on to our Xanthan gum phase. So I'll be uh, mixing a little bit of Xanthan gum with some glycerine to form a slurry. And then I will um, add that into my mixture. I think I lost the part where I was basically adding it in, but I did that. I'll be adding some glycerin into this so that we can make our slurry.
So I'm basically going to transfer the other thickening phase to the lantern gum phase and mix this together and then check our pH. So far the pH when I checked it, um, I was getting 6 so um, this is too high so I went in with a little bit of citric acid and we, we are going to basically recheck. And upon rechecking, we can see that this is 4.5 and this is basically perfect and we're going to work with this. We are going to move on now to adding our preservative to complete our formulation for today. I am going to give this a very good stir because this is a preservative and you want to make sure that it is incorporated inside this formula very well. The thing is, I am going to allow this to sit for basically 48 hours because when you let it sit like for less than that, it doesn't have this nice consistency. So after 48 hours, this is how it is looking, very gummy, and this is what you are basically looking for. We are going to move on now to pouring our mixture inside our bottle but when I started to do that I was having a bit of trouble so as you can see it went over so it didn't go inside the bottle so off camera I used a funnel to get this in so you want to bear it in mind and here we are I ended up um, I had it inside the bottle and we're just checking the consistency I'm just showing you how it is looking yeah so that is it for today thank you for joining me um if you like this video give it a thumbs up and share and basically do not forget to subscribe thank you for joining me another time see you next time in another awesome video bye